KGB's team of extrasensors, that's the Russian word for them, as well as my own team, have used groups to attempt to influence other people. You can't disappear because other remote viewers would always be able to find you, but you can make it very, very difficult by, by hiding in a homogeneous environment. And if I move from place to place, let's say every six weeks or so, into another homogeneous environment, a forested area, a mountainous area, it's still difficult without a nearby significant features. Your question really centers around the, 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 the idea of whether or not a person who is subject to psychic attack by another becomes more open psychically in the future. The Soviet psychics, when they were homing in on our program to see what our capabilities were, found Bob Monroe thinking that he was the director of our program. And they began to ping him when he slept to really, two, three or four of the Soviet KGB Extra Center team would actually invade his mind that night. And then I had to put together a program, a mission to find out who these people were that were violating Bob's thoughts. So I had to go into his mind and then find it, go, go left and find out who this was at that point, there was a war in the ether, them against us at another level. In that particular circumstance, a remote viewer, a professional like myself, could remote view Connie and know that at, as she slept, there were two other entities, two other individuals that were associated at that time energetically with her dream and to describe them, describe the individuals, where they are, what they're doing. But those individuals themselves, especially the primary attacker, because so much focus is on Connie and attempting to influence her mind, he would not become aware of Connie's mentor. If an event or a target is laden with a tremendous amount of, let's say, negative emotion, the psyche will attempt to protect itself. The viewer's psyche will attempt to protect itself and not experience these particular emotions. Artists happen to be naturally better. Not only are they naturally better, we need artists as remote viewers because a lot of our work is sketching and drawing. That's how we objectify the information. I am not going, so to speak, although we're not going anywhere. I'm not tuning my consciousness to the physical person. I'm tuning my consciousness to the way the person exists as a pattern of information in another dimension. That does not work the same way when I go back and try to energetically influence the person. Because if I try to energetically influence a pattern, I can't do that. I have to go directly to the person. Thank you.